We don't want you now anyway, Shark Tank. We don't want anything to do with you. We're better off without you. If you're watching the Shark Tank, call us. Last night we had something. Tonight I'll be kissing. But I don't really have a case. You don't have to mention. You just like their attention. It's written on. Alright, so this video is about how not to get on Shark Tank. It's a Shark Tank audition fail. And it was also recommended that we do a lot of fail videos because we felt so, <laughs> because we have failed so much. Thanks, mother-in-law, Darla. <laughs> So pretty much I started this business and it grew, well, it was really slow going the first few years, like five years. And then um, in 2017, when I got them on Amazon Prime, like it grew super fast. And every time I ever like told anybody about it or somebody would ask me or someone new, you know, would meet me and find out what it was and what I was doing, what my business was, like without fail, Everyone would always say, have you been on Shark Tank? Have you tried out for Shark Tank? You should try out for Shark Tank. And it was just all the time, like I had to hear it so much. This isn't a big failure. This isn't a failure really at all. Mm, kind of, is a fail. <laughs> for Holly, because she doesn't fail at anything. This is a fail. But for me, I would count it as a success even getting as far as she did. Anyway, back to uh, the story. I got pregnant in 2000. 2017 and I was about four months along was it in I think April of 2017 no 2018 okay yeah so I was about four months along and it was about April 2018 that I went and tried out was it in April or March March or April um, I went and tried out for Shark Tank I flew to California um, I waited like all day super early in the morning waited all day in line got through it, it was literally it was like the whole day where you're waiting in line and and then you're waiting in this room and and you basically have like one minute to pitch your story and you're doing it in in front of like one person so then you're standing in line there's like five or six different people all set up in this room and um it's just luck of the draw who you get to so i think there was one guy um and the rest were girls and i got the guy so i'm like oh hopefully he gets it because it's a woman's maternity product and so i uh, go up there and i pitch the product and he like he loved it and you know he seemed really interested in it and then so i gave him samples and i went home and basically it was like, okay, if you don't hear from us, you didn't get through. And if you do hear from us, then you're through the next round. So he called me. And so he told me, you know, what they wanted next was a video and so that they could show it to their producers. And so um, just record like a video of myself. And <coughs> yeah, so just record like a video of myself and just send it to them and then kind of go from there. So I did. I recorded a video and I went through all the points like, First of all, they have a ton of paperwork you have to fill out. And then the video, it's like, okay, cover all these points. You know, how much are you making? How long have you done it? Like, give us a story. Like, and so I'm trying to, like, do this video and cover all these points. And I do it, and I submit it, and I send it in. And it was pretty quick. I heard back from him, like, maybe within a week. Yeah. He called back, and he was like, awesome, redo your video. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Holly's been on camera a little bit since then. We've started doing these these uh, videos on YouTube. She's very uncomfortable on camera. <laughs> and it, it, we tried to do How long was the video? I don't know, like five minutes. So, so it was a five minute video and it literally took like eight hours. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. Well, I the first video I did by myself. Well, yeah, the yeah, yeah. The first video, I was like, I don't want anyone watching me. I yeah, need to do it by video. myself. But the one that they and, called you back yeah. on, they said, do, do another one. So then the second one, he was like, do it again. Yeah. I was like, well, okay. And he's like, he, he's like, be, be more bubbly, be like more outgoing, have more energy. We want to see like a lot of energy. Just be really energetic and bubbly and outgoing. Yeah, yeah. Like on the first, it was like, hi, I'm Holly. <laughs> it was not that bad. I'm You're happy. You're going to see it. I am <laughs> so thrilled to be here. No, my name is Holly. I'm from Utah and I invented the May Band when I was pregnant with my daughter, Maylee, who was named after. So, so I do the second video, okay, and I'm like, okay, so they want it more energetic, more bubbly, and it's just, it's, it's not me, he's like, be like when you showed me your product, you were like really upgoing and upbeat, and, and I was like, okay, but, I mean, it's different when you're doing it in live and you're talking to a person, 
and then when you're talking to a camera, like it's it's very different. So so we had two people trying to work together that are just awful on camera, <laughs> and so it I thought it turned out okay. I mean, it could have probably been better. The second but, video, yeah, it was okay, but yeah, I mean, I was more energetic and more upbeat. Yeah, which we'll show but it was still not too. still two people that are very uncomfortable being on camera. <laughs> So I do the second video, and Brian helps me do that one, and um, I send that in. Hi, my name is Holly Kerr, and I'm from Utah. Being from Utah, I've known quite a few pregnant women, and have a little experience with that myself. So I know what women like and don't like through their pregnancy. Women don't like maternity jeans. They want to keep wearing their regular jeans. Maternity jeans are ugly, they're expensive, they never fit right. Women just want to look good and feel confident, but they don't want to give up on comfort. That's actually how I invented the Mayband when I was pregnant with my daughter, Maylee, who it's named after. The Mayband temporarily transforms your regular jeans into maternity jeans by adding stretch to your waistband. The Mayband is patent pending and comes in three colors and three sizes for a variety of pregnant women's needs. Pearl white, royal blue, and midnight black. Before I invented the Mayband, I tried other options out there and I just didn't like them. There was the hair tie trick that wasn't very comfortable, not very stretchy, and didn't cover up anything. And then there was the belly band, which wrapped around my whole waist and was constantly slipping up or slipping down. I was frustrated. So I went to my mom, who's a seamstress, and I asked her to help me make one. It worked great. I loved it. Then one of those sleepless nights of pregnancy, I woke up and I realized that the Mayband wasn't only for me. I was supposed to make this available for all pregnant women. So we found a pattern maker and a manufacturer, and it took us a year to go through the whole process of getting samples made and our order delivered of just 600 pieces. And then half of those ended up being defective and unsellable. We were devastated but I made a website, put them up on Etsy and eBay just to see how women liked them. Women loved them. They were raving about our product and constantly giving us five-star reviews. Then when we ran out, they were emailing us, asking us when we were gonna be back in stock. It took us three years to find another supplier. We had contacted dozens of them and they would either give us horrible samples or their costs would be way too high. When we finally found another supplier, they gave us the perfect sample at a great price. So we ordered and then we never heard from them again. They had taken our money and ran. We were devastated, but the sample was so perfect, I had to find out who that manufacturer was. I did some digging, I contacted them, and I made an order of 10,000 pieces, which were delivered at the end of 2016. We put them up on Amazon Prime, and within three months, our sales were at $15,000 a month. It has continued to increase to our current sales of almost $28,000 a month. This was with no paid marketing or advertising at all last year, until this year of 2018. We expect this year's sales to be at $500,000. I am passionate about giving back to others. Most of all, my mom. She has raised 10 kids, and at 71 years old, is the main caretaker of my dad who had a stroke 13 years ago. She invested $20,000 in my business to help get things started and pay for a patent, a trademark, and product. She is always taking care of everyone else. I want to give back and take care of her. I also love giving back to nonprofits and GoFundMe campaigns throughout the year. Each year we find a new charity to donate $1 of each sale to. Last year it was Mitchell's Journey. This year it's the Jaden DeLuca Foundation. This is where you come in. Mayband is doing great and growing rapidly, but I am running this all by myself with no previous business experience. I was a special education teacher for five years before becoming a stay-at-home mom and then unexpectedly becoming an entrepreneur. I need your help to grow this business. I wanna use this money for marketing, product, and to expand into retail. Right now, we're only selling on Amazon Prime in the US and Canada. Taking this worldwide would make it huge. The news is spreading fast. Women love the Mayband. Take this opportunity to join me now before it's too late. And he's like, awesome. 
um, you know, great, thanks for the video. And I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and I don't hear anything, and I don't hear back, which basically they're like, if you don't hear back from us, then you haven't gone through, and if you do, then you've made it, you know, then you're gonna go on to the next round. Uh, I didn't hear anything back. So then I had this awesome idea for like my business motto or slogan. Inspiring women to keep wearing what they've always worn and doing what they've always done throughout their pregnancy. I think that that's what women, you know, want now. Like they, they don't wanna stop. They don't wanna put their lives on hold when they start having, you know, babies and getting pregnant. They wanna continue doing what they love. Do what you love throughout pregnancy. And don't let pregnancy stop you from doing what you love. And so that was kind of like the theme of my next like idea or inspiration. And so I thought, okay, I'm totally gonna do a video on this. Like this is what it, this is what it should be. And so I went and I recorded like a whole new like short video of me climbing the rope while I was pregnant and showing that you know this is what women want. Hey, it's me again. I'm just here to make sure I got my point across about how awesome the Maybach really is. I'm now five months pregnant wearing this Maybach, and I would not be in these jeans if it wasn't for my Maybach. I love my Maybach. People were always telling me that just because I was pregnant, I had to give up my clothes and give up my fun. Gone are the days of pregnancy restrictions. Women want to keep wearing what they've always worn and keep doing what they've always done. Strong, powerful pregnant women are creating a new movement, and I want to join and support that movement with Maybank. One of my most popular videos is of a nine month pregnant woman wearing her Maybank and doing a yoga handstand. I want to create more videos like that one. Women running, biking, surfing, skiing, wearing their Maybanks. Just think if you pick me to go on your show and do. You'll have a seven month pregnant woman climbing a rope on your set, showing everyone that pregnant women were not meant to give up their clothes or give up their fun. So I do the video and I send it in and he writes back and he's like, that was awesome. You know, that was really cool. And we'll be in touch. <laughs> I never but heard But you should have called Shark Tank, <laughs> your loss. I never heard back. So I have no idea. I don't know if the videos, went to even even went to the producers and they even watched it so i don't know how far the video went no idea i just never heard back from them and thought wow i failed and it was really embarrassing because everybody knew i went on shark tank like i i put it on instagram everybody knew people thought i was going to be on shark tank like no one really understood i was just trying out and i didn't make it <laughs> Which we don't want you now anyway, Shark Tank. We don't want anything to do with you. We're better off without you. If you're watching the Shark Tank, call us. It didn't work out. And, it's all right. And, and I, I did watch a couple from that season because um, I loved the show. And I, I used to. I can't watch it anymore Yeah, now. it was really hard to Breaks watch. Breaks my heart. <laughs> I, I have heard that it takes like, it, like a lot of people that have been on Shark Tank, that they've tried out like three times. <clears throat> yeah. Like two or three or four. Like, Which she might... A lot of people it opens up again lot. in January. Yeah. She might go try it again. I don't know. And I mean, I am pregnant again with my there's 14th my child. There's my <laughs> with my sixth pregnancy now. Maybe next year I'll try it again if I feel like that's the right direction. But otherwise, it was a Shark Tank fail. And so here we are showing you how not to get on Shark Tank. Yeah, I don't, still don't see it as a failure, but... You can't say I'm not a failure. I've failed plenty, plenty. <laughs> you just, succeeded in the I just husband keep, department, that's keep for going. sure. Oh, totally. Well, we've had multiple failures <laughs> as well. But I just keep going with yeah. that. It's your loss. I, Sometimes it's okay I to quit. I will never quit on Sometimes you. Sometimes <laughs> it's okay to quit. Nobody would blame you. I'm not a quitter. So yeah, so you guys have now watched all three or parts of all three of audition videos and let us know what you think. Yeah. But seriously, Shark Tank, call us. <laughs> Tell us if you liked the video or which one you liked best or if you didn't like any of them, if you think Shark Tank made the right decision. <sighs> well, things happen for a reason. Yep. I don't believe that. So thanks for watching Mayband. Hi guys, it's me, Holly, owner and creator of Mayband. 
the band that turned your regular jeans into maternity jeans. We started doing these videos so we could give you a glimpse into my crazy life as a mom of almost six, a wife, and a business owner. And if you like what you see, subscribe to our videos. And make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. As always, thanks for watching Mayband.